Hey guys, Ryu here with none of it for Blender. This one's gonna be about a box cutter. I'm gonna show you how to freeze your cut. Okay, so when you draw a cut and you click, then it disappears, right? Just, you know, the normal way. But if you wanted to freeze it, you need to press tab, right? Now, if you click this option here, which is a release lock, a cool thing happens because when you draw and release, you're gonna get this uh, frozen effect going on. So. You can adjust your cutter, you know, rotate your camera without losing it actually. When you click, then it's going to get applied. But if you hold shift and click on this menu, right, you're going to get a hidden menu in here, okay? So for example, we got stuff like uh, release lock laser cut, which basically what it does uh, without it, let me show without it, okay? So without it, when you draw a cut and you just simply click, it's going to go through the entire mesh. That's a laser cut, okay? But if you check this on, right this option when you do the same thing it's gonna get frozen at the end which is pretty cool so you can do the laser cut thing and you know kind of stop the cutter at the end and then you can adjust it which is awesome all right then you can combine it with different options like for example you could combine it with the release lock okay so now when you draw it's gonna get paused but when you click it's gonna go through and then you can still adjust it so it's gonna like a double double freeze effect okay then uh, you got stuff for example like um, repeat lock which is awesome so repeat lock what it does right let me just turn it off for a sec when you create a shape like this okay and you know you draw a shape let's just draw it here and press shift d to taper it a little bit okay and then if you wanted to repeat that cut you simply hold control and double click right but if you enable this repeat lock right what's gonna happen is that um your shape's gonna get locked after uh, repeating. So control click and it's gonna get locked. You see what I mean? So let's just try again, boom. And then you can adjust it. And after you adjust it and apply it, the next cut's gonna be exactly the same, okay? And then you got the quick execute, which is pretty cool. So the quick execute, how it works, you simply draw a cut and you release your mouse and it's gonna go through, yeah? So uh, let me just enable it, right? Quick execute, so watch this. I draw it, release it, and it goes through. Draw it, release it, and it goes through. But if you combine it, for example, with something like um, release lock laser cut, it's going to be much more interesting because you draw it, release it, right? And then you can still adjust it like this, okay? So again, draw it, release it, and then you can still adjust it. So you can play with these options and kind of, you know, fine-tune them and check out what's working for you, but it's pretty cool. Okay guys, links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description, so if you need the add-ons, grab them, you're gonna help me as well. Drop me a sub and like if you did enjoy the video, and I thank you for watching, catch you in the next one.